What's up guys, Sir from Beside. We just finished installing our new upgraded CarPlay Android Auto system on this 2016 to 2019 Lexus RX with factory navigation. I want to just do a quick demonstration of all the differences and all the upgrades that was done to this new kit. So let me go ahead and start off by showing you the factory screen. So everything's gonna work normally just as you are used to using your factory infotainment system. You know, your, your mouse works, your backup camera works, and everything is normal. The only difference now you have CarPlay and how to get into CarPlay is press and hold the map button. Okay, and let me just take a step back. Um, so if you wanna go back to the factory infotainment system, you press and hold the map button one more time. So before we go ahead and go into CarPlay modes, make sure your phone is connected to the car's Bluetooth. So just go ahead and go to menu and then go to setup and go to Bluetooth and make sure your phone is connected. So my phone is connected now um, because our audio now gets pushed through the car's Bluetooth system and not through auxiliary. So that's the update that we did. So make sure that your phone is connected to the car's Bluetooth, okay? so. Once you have confirmed that, you go ahead and press and hold the map button. It'll switch over the screen. This is the screen you get when nothing is connected. Uh, we're gonna do our first initial wireless connection. We can also do a wire connection down here. We routed our uh, little USB extension cable here, which you can use for wired CarPlay or wired Android Auto, or you can use this to charge your phone. It charges at 2.1 amps, which is faster than your factory 1.5 amps. Here's the screen once again. So we're gonna do our first initial Connection, okay, so we're gonna go to settings, okay? We're gonna go to general, and we're gonna go to CarPlay. Gonna wait for it to show up, here it is. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pair, and then we'll go ahead and allow. Let's go ahead and give it a few seconds, there it is. This is our wireless CarPlay. And another thing you notice is we went ahead and we changed the, um, the little cursor to make it look more like the factory Lexus one. It's pink, it's a little pink ball here and how to navigate through the apps. You're gonna use this mouse controller. If you push down, you could actually drag like so. This is the easiest way to get through the different pages and you can also drag around on the map screen like so as well. And then this back button works as a back button. Okay, and then if you press and hold menu, that'll summon Siri. And if you wanna adjust the Siri volume, what you're gonna do is you're going to summon Siri on your phone by pressing and holding the power button, and then you can adjust the Siri volume. Sorry. All right, that's how you adjust the Siri volume compared to the music volume. All right. And while you're playing music, you could use this track up and down, up and down for your passenger. Um, you can also use this track up and track down, and you can also use this track up and track down here and the volume controls continues to work. You just don't see the change on the screen. And then your call pickup and hang up also works as well. All right, here it is. This call is actually being routed through the car's Bluetooth as well. So we could go ahead and confirm that by pressing and holding and there it is. It shows that we are using the car's Bluetooth. Okay, and then if you press the hang up button and it'll hang up the phone. And if you like, you can also go ahead and use these two side buttons to make your selection as well. Pressing and pressing, okay? Or you could just press down on the mouse controller here. And for some Lexus models, you can actually press and hold the call button, which will also summon Siri. And then all your other factory controls continue to work as well. Put the car into reverse, the reverse camera shows up, put it back to parking, and it goes back to your CarPlay screen. All right, so now let me go ahead and demonstrate to you how fast the device connects wirelessly when you turn on your car. Okay, turn on your car. And before the Lexus even finishes its booting process, you could go ahead and press and hold the map button. And there it is. So barely took like five or six seconds and it loaded the CarPlay already. And a lot of times what happens is the CarPlay device will connect faster than your car's Bluetooth. So when that happens and if you press play for music, the song may come out of your phone speakers until your phone connects to the car's Bluetooth. All right, so this is our CarPlay. Let me go ahead and quickly show you how the Android Auto works. So how we're, what we're gonna do to turn it off is we're gonna go ahead and just turn off both our Wi-Fi and our Bluetooth just to disconnect this phone. And then on our Android phone, we're gonna go ahead and um, 
go to our Bluetooth setting and make our connection to the wireless Android Auto. And for this demonstration, I'm not gonna connect the phone to the car's Bluetooth since I already showed you with the iPhone, but same concept, make sure your phone is connected to the car's Bluetooth for the sound to come out of the car speakers. If you don't do that, then the song will come out of the phone and not the car's sound system. All right, so here it is. This is Android Auto. Okay, once again, you could push down on the map, move it around. Okay, here's our apps. All right, and you can call, hang up, and all the factory functions and all the buttons work the same. And the back button work as a back button. And menu here works as a Google Assistant. What is the weather? All right, guys, well, that concludes our quick demonstration of our new upgraded CarPlay Android Auto wireless system. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or you can email us at info at bsonicusa.com. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and like our video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys on the next video.